So, okay. ladies and gentlemen, we're uh, here in the Cameo One this time, uh, along with uh, Lino, uh, the director of I Wanted a War, and Alessandro, who is the writer and producer. I Wanted a War is a Italian comedy about uh, three old men who uh, meet in a bar to celebrate a 70th birthday and um, decide to make the life a bit more exciting. So, thanks for coming along, guys. I uh, love the film. It's great. The three characters are brilliant, the three uh, old men in there. How did you come up with the idea for I Wanted a War? Okay, you answer. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure when or where or how. I just looking at old people uh, talking inside the bar about life and regrets and something like that is very common in Italy, in Milan especially. So when you enter a bar, you always see old people talking and drinking and thinking about old times. I think somehow this thing, uh, in my mind, changed it and became something different. Like. What if this old man actually, I don't know, they decide to do something that only young people do, like mm. change everything and act if they, the life is new and they are young and they are powerful and they can change the world mm -hmm. and have what they want. I think this is how the, the idea be came out. Because so they, 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 at the end of the film, you know, they decide to kidnap the Pope. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> and so it's we, funny because yeah. in, during the, the screening, only mm. they, um, I noticed that uh, everybody was laughing at it. Mm. And when friends of us and the crew saw the, the first screening, private screening, nobody was laughing about the Pope thing. Really? Like, I, I thought it was I really it was fun. funny. I think yeah. Italian people, I think they it's don't, Italian yeah, I think <laughs> they, they don't laugh a lot about it. But. I was going to ask you, because I think that's quite brave to talk about kidnapping the Pope. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I was wondering how that would go down in Italy. I mean, do you think that the Italian audiences will relate to that? Or I younger audiences, maybe? Or? Not now, not with this Pope, I think. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, this Pope okay, is okay. on the rage, but... <laughs> he's, he's quite cool, isn't he? He's Actually, cool when, when yeah. the idea came to me with the yeah. first... The first idea, I there was the other pope. So, oh, the older pope. But I, but I, I would do with the pope too. With this pope too. I don't care. <laughs> it's a funny film. Really funny. Uh, everybody really enjoyed watching it, and um, I, I love the acting in it. You know, they're brilliant actors. Um, did you find it easy to cast the film? I mean, was it? Uh, well, we we, we, cast? we start the casting as a two-day session, mm -hmm. and to, uh, we make a call out for uh, the actors around uh, the Milan area, and we just found the um, uh, the, the bartender and uh, guy with a hat. Oh yeah. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, means scarpa. Sca oh thing. yeah. Mm -hmm. Scarpa. It means shoes. Oh okay. Yeah, because okay. there's a backstory. Oh, that. okay, yeah. okay. And uh, after that, we saw other actors because we are looking for a holder, you know, actors. So we are looking for good theater actors or coming mm -hmm. from different activities. And uh, some friends that we have, uh, many friends, because we always lived in Milan, uh, tell us a couple of names. And uh, Alessandro reached them over Facebook. Yeah, oh, okay. I wrote, I wrote wow. to them okay. on Facebook. Right, okay. Good. Yeah. Oh, they're brilliant. Uh, I really enjoyed the acting. I mean, one thing I noticed, you know, you've got the, the young barman there. Mm -hmm. And he seems to hate old people. Yeah. You know? mm. uh, so is there a generational conflict in Italy between... Yeah, there Italy? is. It's very, okay. it's very powerful right now. Because oh, okay. mm. young people, they feel like they have to work to pay taxes and to pay the old people, so... Oh, for pensions, you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he complains about having to pay for the pension of the Yeah, it's, it's something you can hear, again, if you go in a bar in Milan or in everywhere in Italy. Yeah, you can, can hear say, about it. You can hear about this kind of stuff. It's something you can hear oh, everywhere, okay. yeah. Uh, bars in Italy are kind of uh, the places where you can hear stuff. So there's uh, all the... Uh, I mean, all the bullshit <laughs> <laughs> comes out at the bars. Oh, For okay. example, there's, uh, there's a things that people say is in Italy that uh, everybody is a referee. You know that Italy loves soccer, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. So after a big match for, at the bar, Everybody is speaking about how it was supposed to go, how they are supposed to act, something like that. Mm, sure. So it's the mm. same about the laws. Well, Italy is a difficult country and uh, people suffer. That's why young people go abroad mm -hmm. right now. So I mm -hmm. think that uh, Alessandro yeah. starts to think about that, thinking about also uh, our situation, that mm -hmm. I'm not so young, but you know, mm -hmm. we are considered young. I know. Like, it's almost yeah. like they start to become younger themselves, the old men, you know, at the yeah. end, yeah. and they get a yeah. gun and they get sort of, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do they run. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <it's> <laughs> they run. Yeah. yeah. And also, you know, what I like about it is it almost feels like it's the start of a, 
a feature film. You know, it's like the or or as TV series. You could yeah. make you could make <laughs> Actually, a TV yeah, series yeah. with these guys. That's you know, cool. there is there is a lot about this character. I mean, yeah. I, I wrote an entire novel. Oh, did you? Okay, yeah. right, right. Because yeah. I was thinking at the time, I thought you could almost make something. You know, like a TV comedy. Yeah, series yeah. There are a lot of stories yeah, about yeah. this character. So, are you all planning all to do more with the characters? And, and uh, the, the fact is that the um, you already written the novel. Mm. When it comes to me, we know each other uh, since a couple of years and whatsoever. Maybe more. It's mm -hmm. now more. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And uh, when it comes to me, I say I have this novel and I want to make this character lives in other media. Mm. I have some plannings and some oh, things okay. to do. Mm. So let's do. What about doing a short movie? That is not what is written in the book. That is yeah, the, the character. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the characters are the same character that mm. there are in the book. Oh, okay. Mm. But the what they do is not in the book. Oh, okay. So, right, right. And mm. my idea is, wherever I put them, they can do something different. It's, oh, okay. it's like Batman. Mm. If you take Batman, it's like Batman. It's like Batman. If you take really? Batman, you write a novel about Batman. You can do that, and then you can do a comic book or a movie. But oh, what okay. you see in the movie is not mm. what you read in the novel or in the comic mm, book. Sure. So it's so the world of the characters. They, they are, yeah, they yeah. are like mm. they are powerful um, figures that you can use, mm. uh, and wherever you put them, they do something. So okay. this is my idea. In the, in the short movie, it lives alone. But yes, we could do a TV series with them or a movie. Mm, they are perfect for that. Oh, yeah, they, I think yeah. That, I think they're perfect they for a movie. Maybe a TV series. Well, mm. will be good. Will be good. But I think that uh, we have to do the movie and then we will do the TV series of them mm. young. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. A prequel. A prequel. <laughs> what, yeah. 1920 or something? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> something like no, that. they're great characters. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. So what what's, what are you actually going on to going to do next? Then what's the next project that you're working on? Are you? Still figuring it out. Ah, still figuring it out. It was, it okay. was you mean together? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we, are, we are still figuring it out because it was a small production, but it was really expensive and complicated also if it's mm, small. Sure, of course. And in, I have to say, in Italy, it's not easy to do short movies or oh, okay. anything. Mm. So why, why is that? Why is it not easy, do you think? Is it? Because it's, it's, not, it's not a common that a normal people, not rich people, they want to do something like this, oh, like okay. artistic right. this stuff. Yeah. It's hard to, to have, it's, it's, it was not easy and everything mm. is expensive, everything, you have to have permits for everything. It's really, if you are inside the mechanism, if you are already famous, you can do whatever you want. But if you are outside, mm. okay. it's pretty complicated. Yeah, mm. I, I agree, even though I think that it's a kind of, uh, uh, well, it, it, it depends on how you want to do things. And uh, because uh, if, if, we, if we start from the fact that everybody uh, got to be paid, that I think that is yeah. right, mm -hmm. we paid everyone, so it's difficult. Oh, yes. But uh, a lot of people don't do that. Probably ask a favor, probably work for free. A lot of people w uh, make young people work for free, but not in the earlier. Mm. So on and so on. So it's a system that for me doesn't work. Mm -hmm. yeah. So from the very beginning, I mean, uh, you can have little money and you can say, okay, I have only this kind of money, but, and you accept, okay, that's it, you accept the word and you do it. But that money, even though it's little, it's something. Mm, for sure. free, it mm. doesn't exist for free. Yeah. It has to be for free. It's not an industry, it's not, it's, nothing yeah. happens for free. Maybe when you're a student, it's right, because you're doing an experience. After all, if you hire a cold professional, mm, even though they are, mm. yeah, even though they are your friends, because they do, for, for, for the love of the, of, the, of the things, everybody take less than what they usually take in commercial products mm. yeah. mm. to do this kind of uh, short movie. And we love them for that. But uh, as the leader, as uh, uh, Alessandro put on production, it was Alessandro earned money. It's self-funded, mm. you know. Oh, okay, of course. Yeah. yeah how many oh, times I mean, you can do self-funded? Yeah. <laughs> well, self I mean, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty common here as well. I mean, we, we make a short film. There's not really um, an industry support for mm. short film. You, yeah. you can have to do it yourself. Yeah. yeah so yeah, you know, exactly. you know yeah. everything. Yes. Yeah, so you know what, what we're talking mm. about. Yeah, but yeah. let's go back to the happy stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, but we you did. made a great film, on the way. It's fantastic. We really enjoyed it. Thank um, you. Thank and you know, we'll look, uh, hopefully, we'll see more of these. I'd like to see. But, um, I hope so. Yeah. And thank you for sending us the film and coming along to, to watch thank it. Thank you for. It, this, uh, this it was is amazing. Yeah, for the first yeah. day, it was amazing. 
place is amazing, Edinburgh is wonderful, yeah. please come to the <laughs> festival. <laughs> Yeah, the festival is really, really something. I'm oh, looking you forward to see thanks. all the short movies. Well, yeah. it wouldn't be anything without your film. So, thank oh, you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. And we'll see you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.